for you guys will actually have sugar scrubs that have been made by me. No, I did not do a very good job packing. This is why I knocked down in the factory. Hi guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, what a week I have had. I am very tired, my nails are very tatty, um, but today I'm going to be unboxing March's Fresh and Flowers box. I actually packed this myself, which you'll see in the behind the scenes video. So I put a poll up and I asked if people wanted to see like the behind the scenes and the marches box or to have the marches box separate just i have to have a few things checked over um and i didn't know if people wanted to wait people didn't want to wait so i'm going to unbox this box with you i have had possibly one of the most amazing experiences of my entire life and you're probably going to hear this a lot over the next few videos um my eyes like my mind, my eyes, my everything absorbed as much information as I could from behind the scenes, what goes into Fresh and Flowers, what goes into the kitchen, what just goes on kind of behind the scenes in Lush. And it's just truly amazing. It's literally like Willy Wonka's factory, but for your bath. So I'm feeling a little bit disheveled because I'm catching up on sleep because I had to get up early quite a few days. Traveling is long from Poole, from Newcastle. It's about six hours on the train. And the train journey itself isn't too bad. Um, so what I thought I could do is I've got a jug of water, I've got a face cough which is now falling on the floor, but I thought I would just have a pamper. Let's get, you know, let's just have a chill together. So this box, I stuck the stickers on, I packed everything myself and I'm so excited to show you what is inside this box because I love the theme for this box. And I I like the fact that with, God, I wish I'd opened this up first, but I wanted to show everyone that I'd done it. <laughs> um, what I like about the Fresh and Flowers box is every month has a very correlated theme that you can obviously see what the theme is behind it, um, which sometimes you don't always get with the kitchen box. So this is the box. I'm going to see whether or not I did a good job packing. No, I did not do a very good job packing. This is why I'm not down in the factory, but that's okay. Let's show everyone what we have here. Yeah, I've, I've not done the best job of packing, so that's my fault. <laughs> but the flowers have made it. They look beautiful. We've got a beautiful posy of tulips, and we've got some different types of narcissus. They are called, like, cheerful or cheery narcissus. So they look like little clouds. So I'm going to pop these in some water. Um, after I finish this video. So this box, obviously, it's very much all about spring. Spring surprise, fresh box. For us, spring is possibility. After the chill of winter, we embrace its new growth. A return to sun-kissed days, lighter evenings, and more time outdoors makes spring a season to celebrate. We plant it in her soil, roll her in roll in her grasses and dance in her rains. Longer days and sultry nights, we welcome you. And you're not wrong, the rain has been incredible down in Poole, but up in Newcastle, it was snowing like crazy. So it's spring, it could be sunny, it could be rainy, it could be snowy, but I absolutely love the theme of this box. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is Spring Awakening. This is a lovely face mask. It says, spring clean with our soothing goji berry porridge and soften and moisturize with tahini and maple syrup. Oh, wow. That looks so good. So you'll see in the behind the scenes, I had a go at making this and it is so much fun. Oh, it smells so good. It smells very medicinal, but like fresh at the same time. The consistency of this is lovely. When I made this, it was quite runny, but the porridge has kind of set up a little bit. 
so I'm very excited to try that. So the ingredients for this is glycerin, lupin flour, tahini paste, oat milk, Canadian maple syrup, arrowroot powder, fresh lemon juice, whole oats, petit grain oil, sandalwood oil, tangerine oil, goji berries. And I mean, there's literally fresh goji berries that get blitzed up in it. And they have this big machine um, in the fresh department that is constantly juicing lemons and different fruits to go into either the fresh face masks that go to store or into the fresh boxes and it smells so good in there. We've got some iPads. We've got the tulip iPads. Let's open these up and have a smell. <laughs> the ladies that were packing these iPads, they are very good at doing it. I had a go at pouring these iPads, which you'll see, and I wasn't too bad at pouring the iPads. I was not good at... Uh, pouring the uh, the, the face mask in. Oh, that's nice. It's got a lovely, like, gentle floral smell. Mmm, lovely. So these are your iPads. Put that there. We have a little sugar scrub here. And it's got, oh, Aramath? 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 Yeah, Aramath in there as well. So that's what those little dots are. And it has a little flower, so I chose this flower. And it has, it's stuck on with cocoa butter. And it smells super green and fresh again. I love this. I love a sugar scrub. Now I'm not too, is this for your face or for your body? I'll have to have a little look. Now, this is my fault for my rubbish packaging skills. But we've got two nasturtium leaves. This one I... I, bu I keep, I buggered it up, but two nasturtium leaves covered in soap. So the, kind of the story behind this is that nasturtium leaves actually have like soap within them naturally. So they've kind of, in, in kind of incorporated that within this. So I think that's quite fun. And it was so lovely to see all these amazing nasturtium leaves just um, laid out with soap on. So you get two of those. I'm going to wash my hands a little bit. And then you get eight little bath bombs, little flowery bath bombs, except I did not, as the theme goes on, I did not pack these very well, but it comes in a little clear, a little, it comes in a little package, but that was my fault. This packaging is biodegradable as well, so it's suitable for home composting. But in here, you get a little, two different types of flower, little mini bath bombs. Oh my God, they smell, they smell lovely. They're both different scented. This one smells more familiar than this one. This one's stunning. This one's so pretty and it's like a powdery floral. Where this one's a little bit sharper. It reminds me of something, but I can't think what, like my, my little head. So I'm just gonna put them in my hand to show you all that you get. Cause you get, like, like I say, you get eight. And they're so cute. So these are nice just to sprinkle on top of your bath for a little pop of color um, and scent. So this is them all here, plus this one here. And we'll have a little look at the ingredients and what everything is about. So, posy of flowers. You can throw your tulips and narcissus into the bath and enjoy them bob bobbing around as you bathe. So, you know, you can be bougie and pluck them off, which actually I might do. Hmm, I like that. Spring Awakening Fresh Face Mask. Then apply your face mask with a brush if you like. Awaken your skin with goji berry porridge and smooth and moisturize your skin with tahini and maple syrup. Relax for 10 to 15 minutes and then gently wash away. And it says with the iPads made with gentle distilled chamomile water and naturally colored with alkanet root and almond extract. Pop these on your eyes while wearing your face mask and relax. For more stimulation, take out the fridge just before use or cut in half and put under your eyes and use only once. I've seen people do that where they just cut them under and then they just have them as like grateful, like kind of like depuffing underneath the eyes. You've got primrose and bluebell sprinkles. These are bath bombs. You have eight bath bomb sprinkles to get you on your way. Highly fragrant to transport you into spring. If you're out in nature at the moment, take a look at primroses popping up and bluebells won't be far behind. So you've got sodium bicarb, citric acid, you've got lavender oil, almond essential oil, water, that's for the bluebells, and then for the primrose, You've got sodium bicarb, citric acid, you've got titanium dioxide, geranium oil, jasmine absolute, rose absolute, and water. Um, your sh flower scrub, I'm not gonna hold it because it's a bit squishy, 
Oh, it is for your face. That's amazing. That's a you can actually. That's a fair chunk. I'm going to put that in a pot. Our ground almond and golden castor sugar scrub will gently exfoliate your face with additional with added floral scrub from amaranth green and detoxifying ground sunflower seeds. Take a pinch and add a little water till you make a paste and apply in circular motion in circular movement to your skin with a gentle pressure. Wash off. So you've got ground almonds, golden castor sugar, glycerin, amaranth green, fair trade organic cocoa butter, chamomile water, lupin flour, uh, petit grain oil, sandalwood oil, tangerine oil, ground sunflower seeds, spirulina powder. Ooh! It definitely feels gentle and it, I, had, I had a go at kind of pressing them into shape. So some of you guys We'll actually have some iPads, some sugar scrubs that have been made by me. And I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> um, your nasturtium soap leaves. Nasturtium have sap saponins in them, which create a soap-like foam. We help these along by, uh, by also hand painting the leaves with soap. Add a little water and rub them between your hands for a gentle lather to wash with. How cool! You've got orange blossom water, rapeseed oil, coconut oil, uh, water, extra virgin coconut oil, rosewood oil, neroli oil, orange flower absolute, glycerin, sodium chloride, citric acid, nasturtium, nasturtium leaf. So let me have a smell of that nasturtium leaf because that smells amazing. Yeah, it smells super fresh, like super, super fresh. So if you haven't, there is a QR code, let's do it together, that you can scan, and it's gonna take you to a video of this month's box being unboxed uh, by Mo, and I guess sometimes it's with one of the inventors like Michelle, and they'll just take you through the kind of like the inspiration behind it, how to use the products. Um, so if you're wanting something like a, kind of like a, get ready with me, kind of, how to use the products. It's nice to do it with them. So I'm just gonna scan it. And also it's nice to know about the stories of why things have gone in. But there you go, March unboxing. And that is with Mo and Michelle. And it's just so cute, look. Uh, so if you haven't watched it already, you might wanna watch it when you're getting your pamper on. So, speaking of getting our pamper on, I'm gonna roll this up and I'm gonna tie my hair. My hair needs a big cut. Yes, I do have a big cold sore. Oh, it will not go away. Uh, but I'm gonna tie my hair up and we're gonna use some of these products and uh, have a little pamper because I definitely feel like I need a pamper after all that traveling. When you're gonna put a face mask on, it's always best to cleanse the skin first, whether it's with an oil-based cleanser to take off your makeup or you want a double cleanse, anything like that. It just means that you're not kind of like fighting against dead skin, oil, and it also kind of softens up anything kind of in your pores so that when you put your face mask on, it'll help draw any impurities. It'll help kind of, yeah, on the way. So let's try the scrub. So it said take a pinch. So first of all, I'm gonna get a pot because obviously it's, these boxes are made fresh. They're made within 48 hours of getting shipped. And yes, you've got to use them fresh, but some of the products last longer than just a couple of days. So, you know, if you're going away for the weekend, don't feel like you can't have the box. Just put it in the fridge, and then when you come back, it'll be fine. So I'm gonna take, I've got this old smuggler soap pot. Is it clean? Oh, no. Great. Um, I'm just gonna wipe this pot because I'm gonna, this is what I do when I get like the naked products from the Fresh and Flowers box. Cause there's just no way, this, you know, it's, it's a big product. You're gonna get multiple uses out there. There's no way I'm gonna use that all up in one go. So what I'll do is, I'm just gonna put it in an empty pot and I'll just keep that in the bathroom and I'll just keep using it till it's all gone through. So that's why I kind of like keeping some empty pots around. So I'm gonna take a pinch off. I think this will be more than enough for my face. And then look, it's pretty much filled, a 100 gram pot. And I'm gonna mix it with water. So this is kind of giving me a little bit like aloe bamboo roll, a leapy of faith, sort of a, ooh. Yeah, oh, that feels nice. Yeah, that smells really, you can, it smells more citrusy now. Oh. Yeah, that scrub's nice. Cause I really liked like aloe, Oh, I don't have a towel. I really liked um, aloe babu roll, and more, I like and I like the lippy of faith. But I I like a little bit of coarser scrub. This is lovely. Oh, I'm making a. Let's stop everything. 
<laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh my god, I've got it everywhere. Yeah, this is what, because I normally have a towel over my lap. Right. So, the scrub, it's very, it's like, I know I've added water to it, but it's like, um, it's like sticky. So the sugar is obviously going to give a scrub, um, but it's a natural preservative as well. Um, so it's going to kind of um, help retain moisture into the skin. Let's give this a wash. Do I look, look cute? It feels really nice when you're scrubbing it on. I like the little um, amaranth seeds as well. You can um, eat amaranth. There's a cool um, YouTuber called, not YouTuber, uh, Instagrammer. I think it's called Spicy Mustache. I'll put his name along here so you know. And he is all about zero waste cooking. He's really cool. He forages stuff and he has like an urban garden. Um, and he did some stuff with amaranth. And that's how I kind of know about amaranth because of his um, Instagram. But he's really cool. And, and uh, yeah, if you like, if you're vegan and if you're on a zero waste journey with with food, uh, go check it out. Because he can, he, like, he shows people how to make like their own like the stocks and seasonings and stuff it's really cool and these videos are really good quality as well my skin wow that feels really good i would like this in store i would like this it feels really nice that that's a really gentle scrub so like it's gent it's definitely definitely gentler than aloe bamboo roll it's on par with like a leapy of faith kind of gentle that's lovely Oh, I, right, I'm just going to put the lid on there. Keep that. So let's... Oh, that feels so nice. I don't think you could use this day, like daily. I think you could use this once or twice a week. Let's put on the face mask. Oh, I wish you'd seen that. Let's do that again in case you can see it because it looks so cool when I opened it up. Yeah, look at, oh, look at that. Right. Let's get some face mask on the go. You can see... Oh, can you see the goji berries? There. Oh, you can smell the tahini. Ooh. This feels very moisturizing. I like how sticky it is. Oh, I should have used a brush, shouldn't I? Should have been like bougie and put it on with a brush. So, you can leave this on for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go put my tulip iPad on. I might do it. I'm gonna. I'm going to cut one of these I like this. I'm going to cut it down the middle like this. Because my eyes, for the first time ever, were like really puffy when I was down in pool. I don't know if maybe I was on some, because I'm, I'm allergic to like animal hair. I don't know whether or not they were duck feather pillows. Um, right. I am going to chill for 10 minutes and I will see you in a second and I'm going to take it all off. I'm back. I need to put this back on me. I'm surprised my carpet's not just ingrained with makeup and lush stuff. Um, it's been 10 minutes. My face feels great. There was like no tingling or anything like that. So let's take it off. It doesn't, it still feels sticky. So I'm going to just soak my cloth. Well, it smells really nice. Give this a wash. Had a little go of those soap leaves, which I'll, I'll uh, whilst I'm washing my face, I'll pop in. They've actually got quite some suds to them as well. I was I was really surprised, and it smelled really good. And I loved the the green. Now I don't know if the green came from the soap or from the leaves themselves, but it was so cool. Um, such a bit of like a bit of fun to have in the bath or the shower with the leaves. I'm almost done, I think. Oh, I've got so much, so much face mask and scrub in my hair. I think that's everything. Let me just give myself a little, little dry. Yeah, that's everything off. Let's have a feel. Oh, my skin feels lovely and smooth, like lovely and smooth. What do you think? Does it look? Mm, nice and glowy. I think it does look nice and glowy. And it doesn't feel stripped or anything. It feels lovely and soft. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I like that. It has the similar sort of like when it's 
kind of it's still sticky but after the time it kind of felt a bit a little, a little bit like how skin soothing porridge felt after it kind of been on for about 10 15 minutes um yeah it's lovely if you do have sensitive skin i think that'll be absolutely fine for you because that it didn't feel um like like i say tingly or anything like that and it felt nice and gentle as well. well that's lovely and i'm gonna put some moisturizer on i've got some celestial here so i'm just gonna put some celestial on just to give me a little bit of moisture. I've got the self-preserving version, which is quite thick, so I don't need a lot. I'm just gonna pop that on for now, just for a little bit of moisture. That's it there. Ooh, lovely. Well, I am, oh, my skin feels really nice. Uh, yeah, so I can't wait to use the little bath bombs and I'm definitely gonna put the petals in the bath. I'll probably do like a little um, reel or TikTok on that. So yes, so let me know what you think of this box down below. Do you wish you got it? What was your favourite items? I think my favourite item actually is this little sugar scrub. It makes your skin feel absolutely amazing. So I'm going to really enjoy using that. I'm going to get so many uses of that. I took a tiny bit off, if you remember. So, um, as you'll know, I went down to pool. Because <laughs> I keep saying that, that I went down. Um, because I am a super fan of Lush, I get the boxes, I talk about them, I love them, they are just the best thing ever. And this experience, I think they want to expand out to everybody who is an active member of the Fresh and Flowers box. So kind of what I think might happen is that they want to uh, periodically invite some of you active subscribers, whether you've had one box or all the boxes, down to have a similar experience to what I had. Maybe a bit of a Willy Wonka golden ticket in your box type of a thing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a poll on my story um, just to kind of find out if that's something that you would like to do because this is definitely something uh, that I think they want to um, offer us Fresh and Flower subscribers. So I'm going to put a poll up for that. It truly was one of the most amazing experiences of my life and you know if you are a subscriber or have been a subscriber of Fresh and Flowers um, this could be a lovely opportunity for you guys um, to kind of be treated and it definitely is one of the best treats I've had in ages. So I kind of look forward to seeing who else kind of gets this experience. Uh, you don't have to have a YouTube or anything like that. It will be offered to anybody who is an active Fresh and Flowers subscriber um, to get this kind of experience or a, or a similar sort of experience to what I've had. So yeah. Um, Thank you again so much to Jasmine for inviting me down, uh, to Mo and Michelle who make these boxes, who have seen my videos, which is crazy, uh, to David for taking me around the fresh room and all the lovely fresh team for being so lovely when I had my camera. I mean, you'll see in that video I, on the first day, I'm very awkward because I'm just so nervous and there's just so much to take in. And thank you to Matt from the kitchen team and Peter um, for showing me how to make products and being super, super patient with me. And all the other um, guys who showed me how to make things and just everybody that I met, like these were all just so lovely and I'm just so, so eternally grateful for this just wonderful experience. It really, it's kickstarted my 2023. So yes, if you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 4,000 subscribers. Um, you can follow me on social media around here. YouTube will recommend some videos at the end. And like I say, there's gonna be a handful of videos coming out from my experience at pool. It's got, some of them have gotta be checked over. Uh, but once they're out, they'll be out for you guys. So yes, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Thank you so much to everyone who I visited and saw when I was down for those three days. You were all super cool and so sweet and so lovely. And thank you again to everyone. Just, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go edit this video that I'm gonna put out. So I will see you next video. Bye.